Doctor, can you talk a little bit more, more about postpartum depression and, and how that relates again uh, to diet and maybe starting off higher and building up before pregnancy like you talked about? Well, I, it's interesting because first of all, I think there is a connection between the level of omega-3 fats in the blood and in the brain and depressive symptoms. And uh, I'm not the person who discovered this, but there are many psychiatrists who treat women and men with depression. And there was a Harvard psychiatrist who actually treated his patients with high doses of omega-3s and fish oil and found just as good a response in that group as he did in patients who were treated pharmaceutically. So I think there is a connection and as I said in a mom who's growing a brain if she doesn't take in adequate omega-3s either before and or during pregnancy she loses them from her brain. So basically the baby's brain parasitizes the mother's brain supply of omega-3s and I think that's a risk factor for postpartum depression and it can be severe. And it can take a while though after the birth of the baby to build those back up again. Can you talk a little bit more about that and maybe a good way to do it especially while nursing and if there's you know any concerns about diet during that period? Well I think uh, you only need a small amount of omega-3s on a daily basis and because of that, they take a while to build up in your bloodstream, in your organs, and your brain. So, so it's an ongoing process. And, and breast milk contains a high fat content, and the omega-3s are transferred uh, from the mother's bloodstream to her milk to the baby. So that's an ongoing loss as well.